Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to sign, add your initials to every page, and then how to add a witness signature to a document. First, you have to upload your document onto Docsit, and then select the document and go to Fill and Sign. As soon as you go into the Fill and Sign feature, you will see you have Sign, where your signature and initials are uploaded. You have Fill, where you can add symbols. You can read duck classified information. You can touch up your document as well as add text. And then you have predefined text. Predefined text is like little shortcuts that help you to fill in a document easier and quicker. So going back to our sign feature, if your signature and your initial is not uploaded yet, please go watch our previous video of how to upload your signature onto Docsit. And as soon as you're done, come back to this video and see how to sign the document. So for this video, we're going to sign the affidavit. We're going to add text to the affidavit, and then we're going to place our initials on every page. We're also going to add a witness signature to this document. So let's start by adding our own signature. So you just click on your signature and you click again to place it down. Then we're going to add the date and of the place and the date. So there are two methods of doing it. You can either click on full text, place your box down and double click and go start to type in Pretoria. Or you can use your predefined text, which is a lot easier and a lot quicker. You click on text, we're gonna add the date, we search for the today is the 11th and we place it down, making it very easy and quick to fill in. Let's place our name down as well. We said, okay, this is Veda Alsa's signature, so we place it down as well. Now we're going to add a witness signature. So first, you go to sign, click on add witness signature, and you place your block down. Now you double click in the block and a QR code pops up. What the witness then does is he takes his phone and he scans this QR code. As soon as he scans this QR code, it will take him to a page on his cell phone where he can either capture the signature or draw the signature. So I'm quickly going to scan the QR code and then I click on draw signature. Using my finger, I'm just going to draw a signature on this phone and then we are going to click on done. And then the signature should automatically pop up as it did. Now the signature is popped up. Let's say we want to add a name. You can also just double click and start to type in. Maybe this is John Smith. And you add the name. Now we're going to place our initials on every page. So first you click on initial every page. Now you see your initials is already uploaded and you just click on the initials that you want to place down. So now we can see it's page one on page two so this is a 62 page document so if i quickly scan through it page three page four let's go to page 21 there it is 22 and up until page 62 where we can see it's page 62 and my initial is placed down on it so you can place your initials down on every page by quickly clicking on the initial every page button if you're done and happy with what you just did, you can click on done. This will apply the changes to the document and it will save it onto your document workspace. Here we can see that this is now the fully signed document. It has a witness signature as well as your initials on every page.